Alright, today I'm going to be going over another bait, and this one is going to be the Z-Man Chatterbait Elite. Um, so I was only buying, like, uh, the Elite's like an extra buck, but you're getting this, I think, a 5 aught size hook, and to me that is huge. I am barely ever missing a bite. Whew, so tired. And I'm going to rig this up with a Rage Menace. This might be... One of the best trailers for any bait that needs a trailer is a Rage Menace. I'm not going to go too deep. There we go. Push this bad boy up. Squeeze. Pull it down to lock it into that gut. Boom. So you got this right here. Um, you can always trim up uh, three quarters of this jig. Not three quarters up. Um, a little chunkier, chunkier, so it exposes more of the body and uh, has less of a denser profile. But the more dense of a profile, the, the harder of a hit you're going to get because they're thinking they're going to sit there and crush this entire fat bait and it just collapses, basically. A fat air pocket, they crush it. When you set that hook, you drag that hook. Um, let me talk to you about um, my hook sets recently. So... Uh, if I'm, I am actually, no matter what I am fishing, every hook set, I don't, I don't pop up unless it's a drop shot. That one I'm just reeling. Shoulder tuck and reel. Keep that rod to pot. Um, but, um, no matter what I'm doing, every hook set I've had this year has been a drag to the side or a firm jerk to the side. Nothing has been three quarters right over the top. Um, it's just been leaning into the fish. Basically a ba baseball bat swing backwards. Just You pop it and I've missed like barely any bites this year. Pretty much every hit I got I got a fish. Like I probably had 90... I probably had a 95 hookup ratio, believe it or not. I mean, I don't care if you believe me. But, uh, yeah, that's a God-honest truth. Um, Andrew, on the other hand, missed a crap ton of fish. And he was doing the same exact thing. Um, granted, rod positioning was probably a big deal of it. Or uh, just not being patient enough on those days where the bite is tough. But on a chatterbait, that bait's already coming towards you. You feel that vibration stop, you reel harder. Or you give it a little whack. And that's either going to pull it out of the weeds or Are set the ready? hook. Yeah? Can you have a minute? Could you just come up so I can make the blow? So? Yep. I got to go. Um, so that's the Z-Man Chatterbait. Um, you can fish it two ways, steady retrieve, um, slow or fast. Or a lot of people um, just rip, let it come. Pull it up, rip, rip, let it come down and die. Um, I've had success on both, and probably hands down my favorite chatterbait, I don't even have it, will be a chartreuse chatterbait. Um, and it's not even close compared to with anything else. Uh, chartreuse chatterbait with a Zayco trailer. A white fluke trailer on the chartreuse chatterbait. That is beautiful. Or a, I got it. Or this Kai Tech red and black trailer. Unreal. It's just absolutely killer. But that's going to include today's videos. Uh, I got to go do some stuff. Um, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. And um, leave a comment below on what you guys want to see in the next videos. What you want to see me talk about. Hook sets. Um, my fish tank. My stupid fish. Well. Uh, anything, like and subscribe, make sure you hit up our Instagram, anything, but uh, stay tuned for the next video, and uh, thanks for watching.